Ghana's independence would have no meaning unless other parts of the continent still under colonial rule were all liberated and that it was time to prove to the whole world that given the same opportunity the black man was also capable of managing his own affairs and make mistakes and correct them and of course and when he was making his speech among those in the crowd was Martin Luther King Jr. Mm. Now he came when Nkrumah delivered his independence speech. Um, that is pure bronze from Italy. And his posture means forward ever, mm. backwards never. Come on. Which happens to be the slogan of a political party he formed mm -hmm. called CPP, which means Convention People's Party. Forward ever, backwards never. Yeah. Then in front we have other ones blowing horns. Let's call them the horn blowers. Those ones are expressing an aspect of Ghanaian traditional culture. In Ghana, especially in the south, when we have a festival or a big occasion and the chief or the king is coming, often some of his servants would go before him, hmm. blow to announce his coming. Similarly, when an important person dies, traditionally, we also blow horns to announce the person's death. So symbolically, we are doing the same thing for him. But the only difference is that they blow the horns in real life while standing. They don't kneel. But here they are kneeling because they are giving him honor or ah. reverence. And when you, get them, when you count them too, we have seven of them on each side. Um, to us, the number seven represents the completion of creation, the seven days of the week. And you'd also observe that there are a couple of trees on the park. Some were planted by prominent personalities, most of them African heads of state, who have visited this memorial since it was built. So this shady one, for example, was planted by the former president of Cote d'Ivoire, who was called Laurent Bagbo. This was planted in 1982. The one we stood under, the the one we stood under initially was planted by the former president of Namibia, called Sambi Joma. Just right across is a mango tree there, which was planted by the late Nelson Mandela of South Africa. We got one by the late Robert Mugabe from Zimbabwe and other African heads of state. So let's have some minutes for pictures. From there, we're going to continue the tour in the mausoleum. Then he said, I can't think of it now, but. Yeah, you haven't danced, you haven't lived. I love <laughs> themselves on your